Hello, I'm Sanjay Jamta, welcoming you to the series Uttarakhand Legend, uh, which is an ongoing series uh, by the Shooting Balls. Today we have guests with us from uh, England, and uh, with them we are going towards the George Everest Estate, which is some uh, 8 kilometers from Missouri, and it goes through the pristine uh, uh, oak and rhododendron forest around Missouri. And uh, uh, let me introduce you to the guests. Hello, I'm Lauren. Hello, I'm Kelly from New York. Uh, we're here about to hike up to the George Everest Estate, uh, just outside of Missouri. We're very excited um, in this beautiful forest. Oh, um, looking forward to exploring areas outside of sort of Delhi and uh, Mumbai, um, and we've got some beautiful forests to explore. Are you excited? Very excited. <laughs> All right, that's it then. The diversion from Hathipan Tall takes to the George Everest estate after a kilometer steep drive. However, we will be taking the other road through the Vishinga on the Pinog Hill Road. The one and a half kilometer route from Hathipan Tall through the Vishing Well is mostly a dirt track with minimal vehicular movement. The road goes through a lush forest of evergreen oak and the state is rhododendron which blooms in spring. So we have come some distance from the, the way, from the point we started and on the way we have come through this beautiful rhododendron tree which also happens to be the state tree of Uttarakhand and the, the flower is edible also and uh, it makes a wonderful juice out of it and the juice of a uh, rhododendron flower or the flower if eaten whole uh, it, it has got lots of uh, medicinal properties, you know, and it's good for your uh, blood pressure uh, management and for your heart. It's, it's a beautiful tree. This approach towards the George Everest estate goes through an absolute countryside where you come across domestic cattle which roam around in peace with nature. So we have come almost uh, a kilometer or so from the starting point, which is called uh, the uh, Hathipao uh, Tall. So from there onwards, it uh, it's, uh, has been uh, a kilometer walk, and we have reached uh, this place. This is called the Wishing Well. As you can see, can you pan down here? As you can see, uh, there is this well here. It's such a height, uh, and this is something very amazing that uh, you have this uh, well on this height. But uh, it's called the fishing well because uh, if you throw a coin backwards, you know, yeah. toss it like this, and if it goes straight to the water without touching the walls, uh, it's, it's said that your fishes are granted. Granted. Cool. I'm not gonna go that close. Kelly, careful! Oh my God, it's very deep. What, how, what would happen if you fall in? Has anyone ever fallen in? No, never, nobody. Never. But if you fall, you'll be rescued. That is for assured. I think if you fall, you. A little steep hike from the wishing well takes to the top of the ridge which lies in the western stretch of George Everest estate. That's a GoPro. Hey! Film on, film on, film. And take a ride from here. There are various flatlands atop the ridge that provides awesome view yeah. of the nearby and distant villages and terraced fields. The trail continues atop the ridge through the best scenic terrains which are one of the most sought after locations in and around Missouri among filmmakers. This ridge was once a nine hole golf course. And after a few meters walk from the wishing well, we reach the vast flatland that houses Sir George Everest House and Observatory. Can you see the Himalayan peaks from here? Yeah. Is 
out over there. The north face of the ridge provides magnificent view of the mighty Himalayas, whereas the south face enables equally fantastic view of the shimmering Doon Valley. The residents of this part of the area still possesses one rare picture of Sir George Everest. From here onwards, a little walk takes us to our destination. Firstly, the Everest Survey Point. Alright, so after a uh, 3 kilometers walk, we have come to the, the Everest Survey Point. This is the structure from where Sir George Everest surveyed under the Great Technological Survey of India. And down there, as you can see, is the building which was his residence come office. Colonel Sir George Richard Everest, a Welsh, became the Surveyor General of the Great Trigrammatical Survey of India in the year 1832. In the same year, he bought this beautiful bungalow and the park estate from General William Sampson Wish and made his office come residence here. All the necessary instruments, including the giant theodolite, were sailed on River Ganga from Calcutta and were transported to Masuri. From here, he conducted the great arc of mapping, which began at Kanyakumari in southernmost tip of mainland India. Later, in the year 1865, just a year before the great land's death, Peak 15, the highest in the world, was named as Mount Everest by Andrew Wall, the then Surveyor General. Some ruins in the state suggest towards the staff quarters, the bachelor's hall, and the logarithm. The underground water reservoir can still be seen outside the building, which has been enclosed by Uttarakhand Tourism Development Board. As of late, the otherwise unexplored park estate is gaining popularity among tourists for its historical grandeur and pristine serenity. And weekends becomes youngsters the most. This is Anurag. I'm from Allahabad, UP. This is Masuri. It's a good place. 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 Hello. I'm Sakshi. I'm from Allahabad. I've come here to Masuri. I've come here a lot. As much as possible, we should try to keep it safe and safe. And we should be aware of this thing. That we should be aware of the respect of our country. We should be aware of the beauty of our country. We should be aware of the beauty of our country. Our whole country is famous. Yeah, ladies. So what do you have to say about today's trek? Super fun. It was great. We saw the George Everest house, including the George Everest Observatory, which is beautiful. Very pretty. And, and explored lots of trees. And the trail? And the trail. We met a few new cow friends, which was great. And some puppies. Yeah, Kelly got some fleas. <laughs> so, do you wish to visit Uttarakhand again, or Masuri for that matter? Yes, yes love it, definitely. We'll be back. The Uttarakhand Tourism Development Board is planning to uplift the complex where lived the man after whom the world's highest peak is named as Mount Everest.